It was a news conference. A guy said he's got bodies, alien bodies. And then, of course, there's the film from the fighter jet pilots with the Tic Tac video. And what do you make of, of all this? So I love that they brought forth the alien bodies. <laughs> That's a start. I found it odd how humanoid it looked, okay? Because most life on Earth, with whom we have no DNA in common, does not look human, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. So that's odd that this would be aliens from another planet. But it also, did you notice it had a nose? <laughs> yeah. A thousand year old mummy, th there's no bone in your nose, all right? It's uh, a big cavity in your skull. Yeah. They had noses. Uh, yeah, th that was a little weird to me. So here's what needs to happen. When, when we came back from the Apollo, we had moon rocks, we sent them around the world to scientists. Here, it, it, we need, they need to share this with other scientists around the world so that we can verify or falsify the claim. And what the press does is they get one claim that's extraordinary and they run with it as though it's the truth. That's not how science works. It always has to be peer reviewed, verified, double checked, checked by your competitors. And only then, if that if we have if we have um common answers then we can declare that we have a new objective truth in the world what about so some i of these... think it's great yeah, yeah. Uh, what about some of these videos we see from from fighter pilots i feel like we never get a clear view with all these cameras out there everything still looks like a you know a, an atari game from 1982. <laughs> low risk yeah it's <laughs> yeah. funny um I, I joked, I think on 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 on, on um, Twitter or X, I joked. I said maybe the aliens are actually fuzzy. <laughs> we can't get a sharp picture yeah. of them. Yes. Um, you know, we all have video camera. You know, when I grew up, nobody had a camera unless right. you were on vacation. So right. you could have you could experience something and not get to tell anybody about it. With six billion smartphones in the world, we have the capacity to crowdsource any possible alien invasion and there's a million people at any moment who are airborne with yeah. a window right next <laughs> yeah. to them in the airplane uh -huh. and so i'm thinking we could do much better than the navy <laughs> <laughs>